Welcome to the Upper Kitchen! Once again. <laughs> Once again. Hola, farmsteaders! We Hola. are Mac. And Jose. And we are Uper Country Farms. Yep. We are a market farm up here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. This is going to be our first season, and this is our first winter living up here in the UP. Yep. We are loving it. But there's a lot of time to kill in the winter. You need to find some things to do to keep yourself busy when it's freezing cold and snowing outside. And hungry. <laughs> and hungry, exactly. So what we've been doing is getting into the kitchen a little bit and making some breads. And one of the favorites we've discovered is honey oatmeal bread. Ooh. So that's what we're going to make up today. And this is an incredible recipe. The bread is super dense, which I love. It's great for sandwiches. It's great with your breakfast. It's sweet and we love it. And of course, Jose loves bread with his coffee. This is one of his favorites. Yep, yep. The thing I'm really disappointed about is one of our viewers sent us a recipe for cinnamon raisin bread, Ooh. which it was a toss up. It was a toss up to make cinnamon raisin bread today or to make this honey oatmeal, <laughs> but I've been promising people the honey oatmeal, so next up is going to be cinnamon raisin because this guy loves cinnamon. Yep. So we're definitely going to be making that. So thank you for sharing your recipes. We appreciate that. I'm excited. All right, Jose, let's talk about the ingredients for this recipe. Okay, what's first? The thing you're going to want to start with is two cups of milk. Mm -hmm. You can use any kind of milk you want in this recipe, which is one of the things I love. So what we actually have in this pan today is because I was almost out of almond milk. We and my mom brings milk over for her coffee. So we had a little bit of 2% milk left. So this is actually half almond milk and half 2% milk. Now we are going to heat this up on the stove just to a light simmer to get it warmed up. We're going to start that now to give it some time. Dun, 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 dun. Then you're going to want four tablespoons of butter, which is right here. And I'm going to put that in the milk and let it get warmed up to a simmer as well. Next up is going to be one cup of rolled oats. Then you are going to need a half a cup of honey and a half a cup of warm water. That's what's in this cup here. You're going to want one egg and that's just to do the egg wash at the end. Mm -hmm. And then you want a little bit of extra rolled oats to put on the egg wash. So that'll be later on. We'll be worrying about that. You need one teaspoon of salt. Then we're going to use three different types of flour in this recipe. You can change it up and use whatever it is you would like. Play with this recipe. Here's the thing I love is when people say, well, you know, I can't bake or <laughs> Get in the kitchen and put into a loaf of bread what it is that you really like. Yeah. You're going to want some all-purpose flour. The recipe calls for two and a quarter cups up to three cups. It depends on what the humidity is like in your area and other things. I have three cups in this bowl, and I think the last time I made this recipe, I used all three cups. But you could use less, depending. Then we have one and a half cups of whole wheat flour. And the best part I think of this bread is I changed the recipe, of course, and I'm using one cup of pecan flour. But you could use any other type of nut flour you like. I just really like this pecan flour. Pecan is such an intense, sweet flavored nut. I really like to use it in the sweeter breads. So we will be using one cup of the pecan flour. Again, the recipe calls for two and a half cups of whole wheat flour. But change it up. Use what you want. What do you? What flavors do you like? Yeah, Use that in your uh, bread. I even considered making this a maple bread and using maple oh. syrup because we're coming into maple season here. So maybe we'll give it a try after we have maple season and see how it tastes with maple syrup in this bread mm -hmm. instead. That sounds good. I have great ideas, I think. Don't you think, Jose? Yeah, maybe one day we, we can make um, cookies. So now you can see we melted the butter into the milk. We are going to dump this over the oats. Ooh, Ooh yummy. Right. And then we are going to stir this mixture together. And we are going to let this sit and get down to about room temperature, which will take about an hour and a half would be my guess, maybe a little bit less. We here. 
we are back. It's been about an hour that we let this soak in here. Now we want to add the warm water and the honey. Now we warmed this up in the microwave for about 30 seconds. We're going to dump it in here. You want this mixture before you put in your yeast to be between 100 and 110 degrees. So go ahead and put that in there, Jose. That's perfect. We are right at 100 degrees. So that's going to be perfect. And the reason you want to be in that temperature range is so that uh, you're activating your yeast. You don't want it too hot or too cold. Either your yeast won't activate or you'll or kill your yeast if it's too hot. And we don't want to be killing yeast. <laughs> is that right, Jose? No yeast killing in this kitchen. Okay. Mm. So we're going to put this in here. And you also want to mix in your salt. Yeah, now we're going to stir. Am I here? Take that on the other side. This over here. So we can work this in. So now we want to add our flowers. And I'm going to add the pecan flower and the whole wheat flour first and mix these in good. So these are mixed in, and then we will slowly add in this other flour. So Jose, you can go ahead and stir. Now remember, there are three cups in here, but you want to use somewhere between two and a quarter cups and three cups. So we'll put most of it in and leave a little bit out. So we are going to, I'm going to get rid of the spoon and use my hand. I always prefer to do that. And this feels awfully moist. <laughs> this is not getting to the... Um, just slightly moist. So let's go ahead and put some more flour in there. I think you can go ahead and put all of it in there. I think I'm going to need all. Oh, okay. Yeah. This bread, you do want to knead it for a couple of minutes until it gets a real nice smooth texture to it. So um, the last bread I did was no knead, which mm -hmm. is so nice. Okay, so we have this dough with what I think is the perfect amount of sticky. Mm -hmm. It isn't sticking to the sides of the bowl but it is still pretty sticky. We're just buttering the inside of this bowl so that the bread doesn't stick to the inside of the bowl because it is a sticky bread and it probably will stick a little bit. <laughs> now we're going to let this dough rise for one hour. Jose, would you get me the silicone lid out of the drawer, please? We want this to double in size. It takes about an hour generally. We're going to put these, this silicone lid over the top right here. It's been about exactly an hour. What do we got, Jose? Ooh, wow. Ooh, that's perfect. This dough is easily doubled in size, so we're just going to punch her down. We are going to... Oh, it's so perfect, too. This is like a really smooth, nice dough. So I just pull it around in here, and then we are going to pull it out of this bowl. All right, Jose, you want to move that bowl. All right, perfect. And then we're going to cut this in half. You can just pull it apart with your hands if you want. I just happen to have a knife handy. So then you want to form this into two loaves. And the way I usually do that is just like so. Okay. And then uh, I greased these pans, you can see. And greasing it basically means taking a little bit of butter and running it around the inside of the pan to keep the bread from sticking when it bakes. Yep, so that's perfect right there. And then the second loaf here. We have these two loaves in the pan like so. You want to take this. This is just a beaten egg right here. And we're going to dip this in there. And we are going to run this over the top. And what this does really is just brown the top of the loaf. You honestly don't have to do this part if it's not something you want to be doing. You don't have to use an egg if, if you don't want to. This just helps give a nice brown coat to the loaf when it's in the oven. Once you do that, this extra rolled oats we had, we're just going to sprinkle a little over the top like this. And this just makes, in my opinion, makes the bread look fancy. It doesn't really do anything besides that. 
Okay, so then I'm just going to cover each of these, and they're going to need to rise for another hour. Mm -hmm. So Jose and I have a ton of chores to do. I need to go out and do my rabbit chores. Jose needs to go out and take care of the ducks. So it works out perfect. These are just going to sit here for an hour, rise up one more time. While they're rising, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees so that it's all ready for these. All right, so it's been close to an hour. We're going to check on these. now. As it's been rising in here, you want to pull these covers off really slow, just mm -hmm. in case the bread has stuck to the covers. So let's just see what we got. Da, 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 da. Oh, those look perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks perfect. Now they're going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. Again, I like my bread a little on the more moist side, so I usually put them in the shorter amount of time. Uh -huh. 30 to 35 minutes, I think I did it last time, and they were perfect. So here we go. One. Excuse me for just a minute. One, and two. Woo! I can't wait. <laughs> All right, so we will be back in 30 minutes to pull these out of the oven. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. So we checked on the bread at 30 minutes. Didn't feel quite ready. It is now 35 minutes, so we're gonna pull it out of the oven. Here we go. Woo! I'm gonna start on fire with this shirt. It's probably not a very good shirt for baking day. Okay. Woo! Look at these babies. Wow. Yum. Yummy, yummy. Mm. That is like perfect bread right there. Yep. Woo! All right, so now we have to let them cool in the pan for the recipe says 15 minutes. So let's cut into one of these babies. We'll cut into the slightly smaller one. All right. Dun, 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 dun. I know I'm, we're not gonna just eat one slice. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. All right, we'll start with this. So I know Jose and I want a little bit of butter. Uh -huh up on our bread here. And then we're gonna try it out. We got this red raspberry jam. That is, uh, we got that when we were out at the maple store a few days ago. Mm. Yes, and I am a huge raspberry fan. Jose, do you love raspberry? Oh yeah. All right, let's spread a little bit of this on here. Yum, yum. All right. All right. Wait, we don't. No, not before me. Aww. Together. Ready, set, go. Mm. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Like uh, fresh bread. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. This bread is worth every last step. It is incredible. We love this. It's gonna be great tomorrow morning mm -hmm. for breakfast and I know oh, yeah. we're gonna be chowing on this as soon as the video is over. <laughs> so now the bread has to cool for probably another hour or two before you can wrap it up just so it doesn't create a lot of moisture. If you are a bread person and you like baking bread, we would love for you to share with us your favorite recipe so yeah, we thanks. have something to bake up in the kitchen. If you are a homesteader or a farmsteader, you live in or love the UP, we hope that you will subscribe to our channel. Bing. Again, we are Mac. And Jose. And we are Uper Country Farms. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Okay, are you ready for eat more? Mm. I'm ready, I'm ready. Do you want more jelly or you want to eat it plain? More jelly. All right. Yeah. I like the way you think. <laughs>